Okay, so my name is Chris, and uh, let's make this quick for you. Um, I have a uh, Wacom uh, going on right now, and uh, I'm going to show you on uh, Clip Studio how to set up your tablet to be able to flip horizontal or vertical easily. Because uh, if you don't, then if you want to flip stuff over, you have to go through all this business here. So imagine having to do that over and over and over again. Um, so anyway, what you want to do is go to uh, File. And right on the bottom there, you have uh, Shortcuts. Go to Shortcuts. And then... Uh, you have to know where you're going to need to go. So originally we went to edit, if you remember in the beginning of the video. So we have to go to edit. And then we have to go to where we can flip. Oh, look at that. Horizontal, and, uh, excuse me, uh, rotate or flip. So there you go. So now you just have to... In this case, I'm going to do horizontal, so I'm going to touch it. There's a double, double, uh, double tab there. And then at this point, uh, that's where you start uh, typing uh, something that can be uh, part of your shortcut. So uh, I'm going to give you an idea of what's going to happen, though, it's if you don't have the right, uh, if you don't have the right key here. So so if I do that, so I did H for horizontal, well, guess what? That's already used, okay? Now, I could remove that, but then I'd have to remove that and then do this, and then that means two things I have to do, and kind of lazy. I don't want to have to do two things. So so instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, hold down control, and then I'll do H right there. And uh, there you go. So now, now that's set. Oh, look at that. I want to do uh, vertical. Let's go ahead and do vertical then. Now, guess what happens here? You got to be kidding me. So, yeah, of course, if you're used to, um, especially PCs, um, yeah, uh, like, like uh, Command C and Command uh, V are used for cut and paste. So... Well, what are we going to do? Well, for me, I just decided to go with uh, with J because <laughs> it's right next to H. Just keeping it simple once again. So there you go. Boom. Okay, so now I got my horizontal and vertical. Now click OK. Now, we're not done yet. Okay, so now you have to go to your Wacom, right? Wacom uh, properties here. And in this case, uh, Clip Studio Paint. And then uh, I set this, uh, I removed all this and made it uh, default again in this area here. So that way you guys can learn. So what you want to do is you want to go to uh, Keystroke. And then uh, once again, I'm going to do uh, Control H right there. And then I'm just going to call it um, H. Oops. There we go. Just call it H. Makes it makes it easy for me. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. So change this to uh, Z, or excuse me, Z, <laughs> J. Okay. But instead of putting J though, then I'm just going to literally call V instead, just so I just know what's going on. And then go OK. All right. There you go. Now we don't even need to close that. We'll just leave it if you want to. We don't have, we could, you know, just to be sure, I'll just let you close. So you close it. Yeah, make it, make it easy for everybody here. Okay, so now that I got it, let's see if I can do it without having to go through here and do all this business. Okay, so here we go. All right. Oh, there you go. So I put that, uh, that seven there uh, nice and bold so you can see it so that it's working. And that's vertical. And that's horizontal. 
And I'm using a Wacom Intuos Pro. So um, I'm just pushing a button. That's all I am. Good luck, everybody. Thank you again. Uh, for And I hope I was helpful.